Well, dozens of our state's top glass artists are firing up the torches in Austin this weekend. Here to tell us more about the Armadillo Art Glass Initiative is Craig Lewis, Sarah Hauser, and Jay. Tell me your last name. Massey. Massey. You guys, artists in the house this morning. You've got some pretty uh, high-tech equipment here. Show, going to show us a little bit, a little bit of something, and then we're going to talk about what's going on where the general public can go and, and meet lots and lots of glass blowing artists. Absolutely, this over weekend. 60 live artists this weekend. Wow, and that's indoors. It indoors. Is. So indoors. rain or shine. Rain or shine. A lot of people may be flooding, uh, flooding indoors. Absolutely. To see it. We also have some live music and live uh, spray painting artists outside under tents, so nobody will wash away. Everybody will. We can keep everybody nice and dry. Perfect. Jay, you are the, the man of the hour here. Tell us what you're going to be showing us this morning. I'm just going to cold work a piece of glass into a facet, which is like so, where I cut lots of faces into the glass. Mm -hmm. So, I Pretty much like making a diamond or a ruby. Rosie and I put our orders in this morning <laughs> for, some, for some jewelry, so you can go ahead and get okay. started. And if you want to walk us through kind of what you're doing as you as you go along, what would you call this piece of equipment? This is called a facetron. Okay. This is like what you would facet uh, diamonds or rubies or something for a beautiful ring or something. This is just on a much bigger level. Mm -hmm. And so I got a little water here. Start that up. And I'm good to be standing this close without goggles on. Yep. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, just, just check it. <laughs> you're okay. There's only a few of us in here. Chances are we're not going to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, good yeah. to know. So you can see a face starting to come up on that already. And he'll work his way around, um, dialing the indication over here of where he should be for the next cut. Um, and that'll kind of help him keep an even cut all the way around. Mm -hmm. And coming out, I don't know if you call it a beaker, but it looks like a little beaker to me, mm -hmm. are drips of water that are falling onto the... Right, that's helping to not only wash away the ground that's being hap that's happening and wash away that, but it's also helping to keep everything nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. And you guys have some of the pieces... Yes, ma'am. Uh, ...right here that I'm, I'm assuming you guys ha have made. Yes, ma'am. These are some of the local artists as well as some of the national artists that we have. Um, it's all borosilicate art. Uh, most every single thing is made um, by hand in a flame. Mm -hmm. um, we have marbles, goblets, bowls, you name it. We've got some cool stuff. Tons of pendants, jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, fun stuff to look at. A lot of the artists who are going to be there this weekend, are they local? Or are they coming from all over? So we do have over 40 local artists, and then we also have people from Colorado, Oregon, um, pretty much a lot of random spots in the country as well. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about when and where this event is going to be happening. Again, it's called the Armadillo Art Glass Initiative, um, Initiative's main event, and you guys um, have raised Forty thousand dollars for a nonprofit since 2013. Where does that money go? Who does it help? This helps Meals on Wheels and More of Austin. They're a fabulous organization. They help keep our seniors independent and in homes as long as possible. Help them with so many needs besides just food that we we just felt very strongly about supporting them. They're mm -hmm. fantastic. And every $25 is 10 meals plus services, so your money goes a long ways with them. Yeah, and this, this event is happening. It is today and tomorrow at St. Elmo's Fire Studio. That's uh, 510 East St. Elmo Road. So that's kind of centrally, yes, south, central. Yes, ma'am. Uh, nice, sure. uh, you know, 35 and Ben White just south of that. So it's... Um, Pretty good location, easy to get to, and um, should be ready to go noon to nine today. Yeah, so are um, artists going to be doing things like there Jay will, is doing, and then you can also buy yes, items as well? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We will have um, about 15 different stations, different people blowing glass at one time. Um, there will be scheduled out, so there's a schedule on the website. Um, all the other details with music and um, graffiti artists is on there as well. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm also looking for a time. When can people? Noon to nine. Yes, noon to nine both days. Nine. Yes, ma'am. Gives you time to sleep in and still get there. There yes. it is. Absolutely. And Absolutely. do a little recovery. That's yeah. right. And Jay, we need to check in on you. We've got just a few seconds left to see how you're, see where how we're you're coming. Yeah, we've made it all the way around. All right. So, I got it pretty straight there. But yeah, that's one row. And then I'll go through and do two or three more rows. That's looking good. 
It's looking good. And you're heading out to the event today as well. You can finish it up yes, <laughs> when you get there. Thank you guys all for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. And if you missed any of that, we're going to have the time and location on our website at kxan.com.